Okay, question two, part one. Wants us to show that x squared minus 8x at 17 is greater than zero for all real values of x. So there are two ways to do this. So I'm going to do it two ways. We can use completing the square to find the minimum value, or we can use differentiation to find the minimum value of the expression. So, first up, let's do it by completing the square. So, uh, okay, so, x squared minus 8x at 17 can be written as x minus 4 squared now we have to subtract 4 squared on the outside so minus 16 add 17 so this is x minus 4 squared add 1 now that means the coordinates of the minimum are 4 1 therefore so the minimum value of the function is 1 so x squared minus 8x and 17 is greater than 0 is always positive for real values of x. Okay, let's do the same thing by using differentiation. Okay then, using differentiation, let's let y equal x squared minus 8x add 17, and then dy by dx is equal to 2x minus 8. Now, at a minimum, dy by dx is equal to 0. So, we set 2x uh, minus 8 equal to 0. Add the 8 divided by 2x is equal to 4. Now, when x is equal to 4, y is equal to 4 squared minus 8 times 4 add 17 uh, which is 16 minus 32 add 17 which again gives us 1 so the minimum value of y is 1. So again, the function is always positive. Cool. Okay, then for part 2. If I add 3 to a number and square the sum, the result is greater than the square of the original number. A state giving a reason if the above statement is always true, uh, sometimes true, or not true. Well, it's certainly going to be sometimes true. If we do 5 and 3, we would get 8. Square that, you get 64. That is bigger than 5 squared. What sort of number, though, 
is going to cock us up. I reckon a negative number. So let's say if x is minus 2 and then x add 3 is 1. So x add 3 squared would just be 1, but minus 2 squared, so x squared, would be 4. So it doesn't work when x, or when the original number, is minus 2. Therefore, it is not always true uh, but is sometimes true. Come.